Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we've got a storm coming, but I wanted to show this to you and I wanted to check it out and see if the motor is going to work on it and talk a little bit about this thing. But I don't know how much time I've got. Yeah, we got one rolling in. Um, so anyway, let's talk about this a little bit. And I'll tell you about the story on this of how I got it. Sorry for the thunder and the wind. But... We got this when I got the tires and wheels for my old John Deere. So I got these. I'm not sure exactly what size my tires are. I had them wrote down, but um, I can't remember. But I do know there are 12s. The same guy had it. Now, he had 15 on it, and I was looking at it. And he said, you interested in that? And I said, yeah, I sure am. I was going to give him the 15. He said, well, since you bought the wheels and tires give me ten dollars you can have that he said it does run but somebody is supposed to have a sanding disc on here and a table like a tool rest with you know like a miter he said someone took that stuff off but on the end of this it doesn't look like it's long enough to have that you know to put another attachment on here so I'm thinking this pulley might be turned around backwards. I'll show you the numbers on this thing. And I found one that was identical to it, but it was in very bad shape online. It sold for $10. But it's the model number 351.226110. Uh, there's an 8308 on it. I can't find anything it says made in Taiwan, but I can't find anything about it other than it is a Sears Craftsman from the Sears Roebuck Company. That's what the motor says. Uh, I don't know if the motor's original. It looks like, and I, I can find a parts breakdown on this for every nut, bolt, washer, these, but they make nothing for this thing anymore. But that looks to be the motor that belongs on it. It's supposed to have a one-third horse. That's 1725. Uh, so that's the RPM, by the way. Um, so that's a motor that belongs on it. I'm thinking it's original. All the colors match. He said the motor does run, so. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this cover off so nothing's hitting or anything like that. It feels kinda hard to turn. So, let me get you in the stand. Let's get these two screws out. Let's get this cover off. Let's see what's going on inside of here. Okay, let's take these out. They're Phillips screwdrivers. Now, it's supposed to be vintage, and I think it is, <laughs> but I don't know how vintage. My guess would be 80s. Um, I found similar ones different model numbers but they were they were similar to this and they're coming up mid 80s I'm pretty sure it's not back in the 70s I'm I'm guessing mid 80s right in there so what I think I think this turn you around here this uh, pulley here I think needs to be turned around and that'll give me more room to put something in there. Uh, so we're going to plug it in. Yeah, and it looks like that needs to be moved over. And it looks like this pulley here can be pushed back a little bit. And that'll probably give me my the room I need to put my sanding disc on here. And as you can see right there, this was on there it was rubbing this it was rubbing this pulley 
So this pulley needs to be moved back and I think this one needs to be turned around. Um, so it is missing. I'd, lo I'd love to get it, get it complete, but I cannot find, I think this would be a six inch. I can't find anybody that's got parts for this thing. Um, so I've looked everywhere. Like I said, I found one that was identical and it was in bad shape. It was missing rollers and stuff. It sold for 10 bucks. It did have a motor on it, but the cord was all, you could tell it had been well used. So we're going to plug this in. I don't know where on and off is on it. Okay, I see it. It's off. Let's plug this in. Let's turn it on. And I can also see the belt is kind of rubbing on this tool rest bracket here. But it does run. Now the sanding belt I can get, no problem. That's not an issue. They're readily available and they're reasonable. Um, so I don't know. I I just don't know, guys. That um, where I can get that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this needs to be turned around and this needs to be scooted back because that's. You know, it shouldn't be, this shouldn't be sticking out further than the shaft. So there's a couple set screws here. Um, my guess is someone changed the belt at one time and uh, did it that way instead of moving the motor. So my guess would be that that's what's going on with it. Yeah, because I can look down here and it's going down like this and then over that way. So, man, a storm coming in. I want to go get a couple, sorry. I want to go get a couple tools and pull these off of here and spin them around because it's not supposed to be out that far. You know, blow it out with some compressed air. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, So it's not complete, but it's in really good condition. Very, very good condition. It's used, but it's not beat up. It's not, looks like this has been rubbing a little bit. Yeah, there is, there is a little play there, but I can get these bearings. The rest of them feel good. The rest of the bearings feel good and this is you know you just push this down put your belt on lift it up I'm not sure what size belt it is either um, it doesn't look like a, a 40 or anything like that but my guess yeah this it could use bearings in here motor feels pretty good I'm not sure Looks like it might be a, uh, let's try to get some of that dust out of there. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a regular uh, Allen head. Let me go get a couple Allen heads. Let's pull this off. Let's spin them around and see if that's better and see how much more room we got on this shaft down here. Wow, it's getting ready to dump down, but this one here is loose. Uh, let's see. Now let's check see if this one's loose. Uh, it wasn't real tight, but it wasn't loose like the other one. Alright, so
I see some marks over here on this arbor on the shaft I see some marks right there and I also see some here where it's been tight in there but I think it's supposed to be up in here um, but it still doesn't look like it's going to wait a minute had the wrong one so what I think I just think someone's put this on backwards all right you know what let me let me get this back off of here I'll turn it on and use a piece of sandpaper and clean that shaft up there okay go ahead and turn this on All this stuff up here rattling is what you're hearing and it's on a plastic table okay now let's get this put on here there's a little oil you pull this little plug out and you can oil these up there's usually one on the front and one on the back not seeing one on the back but anyway Yeah, now, see, I think these are actually, someone took this off, and they thought that's where this one went. But I think that's where the one for the sanding disc goes. So I'm going to put it right about there, just till it's on the flat spot. hate when people pull these things apart like that you know now this one you can see it was rubbing there so I'm gonna put it it in too like I say I can get I can get um, bearings that'll work in that same way as this if I can find I can fabricate something you know so what I probably should have did was <laughs> put it on the way I took it off Just let me back you out some so you can see kind of what's going on. Get it started. Just a little bit there. So I think, yeah, this has adjustment on it. So I can move this out some more. I don't know, is there any? nuts on the bottom but this this can be pulled out a little bit more and that's that straight as an arrow down through there now 
So, yeah, I can see where it was rubbing on there. Go ahead and tighten these up. We'll turn it on real quick. Yeah, see, that's in there good ways now. There's no way, there's no way that that pulley there can rub this. All right, let's turn it on real quick. Very nice. So all I gotta do is move this tool rest out. Start the rain. Let's get these screws back in here. Let's get one screw back in. There it is. Alright, we'll get these screws back in here. So I don't know. I spent Wednesday night. This is Friday. Wednesday night. I spent two hours on the internet trying to come up with what year this might be and and I got on a website that had a whole bunch of them, like 222 of these things with what year they were and all the specs on it. And uh, But they didn't have this model number. So I'm guessing 80s. If you guys know, please put it down in the box below. Yeah, see, then, then I can slide this out a little bit more. I can make a, uh, I think I can make make a tool rest fabricate a tool rest for it this needs to be adjusted uh, very quiet that little tapping is just that belt right down here rubbing on this tool tool rest bracket i guess you call it um, like I said, that one was rubbing here, but this could be, looks like it's got a little bend to it. So a little bit of straightening, you know, these things get banged around and in the, uh, you know, in your work shed and whatnot. I would adjust this right now, but it's starting to rain, so. Awesome. Okay, guys, there you go. I just wanted to share that with you. And if you guys have any idea of how I can get some information on this, no, I'm not calling Sears. Um... But, yeah, please let me know. Because I would like to get it. This would be handy. be real handy to have that. But, I mean, this this is why I mainly bought it was for this part of it. For the belt sander part itself. For sharpening chisels and whatnot. This would be really handy, too. i got to get you out of the rain. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Monkey had to take her mom to the doctor, and like she said, and then I got to take myself. So she's, she, her mom's got a doctor's appointment, which is probably over now, or maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it's probably over now. Um, what time is it? Yeah. So and then she's got to go to Ocala. If you guys down here in Florida, you probably know where it is, Central Central Florida, uh, to go to her appointment. So. I got a roast in the crock pot, so it'll be ready when they get here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you know anything about them things or 
if you know where I can get parts for it, be greatly appreciated. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Have a great time. Enjoy your life. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.